What's up everyone? Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> I'm hopping on the on board the trend train, okay? We're gonna try this de-influencing thing, but we're gonna do it with a twist. If you've not heard of the de-influencer trend, it's really, really popular on TikTok right now. Basically, I mean, it's simply put, people just sharing products they don't like. So they're de-influencing you to buy it. Sometimes they give solid reasons, sometimes they really don't. It's TikTok, it's shorter time. You know, I don't know, it just is what it is. We've got YouTube here and this is long form, baby. So we are gonna share my reasoning for why I think some of these bestseller products are ones that, well, I'm just gonna de-influence you. Don't buy them, okay? I'll share why, but I'm also gonna share an alternative product, one that I think you might like instead that's similar but just better. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm so excited. Uh, thank you to Kelly Gooch because she was the one that was talking about de-influencing and she mentioned the idea that, you know, these could be made better by sharing like, okay, then what do you recommend instead? And I thought that was cool. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, well, if the idea is de-influencing someone by offering it alternative, then I'm influenced. <laughs> we're just keep, we're just balancing the scale, okay? <laughs> I feel like part of my job is to share like products that obviously are good. And so that, that's what we're gonna do too. Okay, so thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring this portion of the video. That's the glasses I am wearing right now. I've been wearing these for years, baby and they feel just as new as the day I got them. So these are the Warby Parker Esme frames. Mm, I love them, you guys love them. I get so many DMs and questions anytime I pop on my Instagram stories wearing them. So Warby Parker offers eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. You can shop online, you can go in store, and their glasses start at $95, and that includes prescription lenses. I know. If you've ever been to the eye doctor and you've bought glasses there, those frames, like some that I've tried on that I like fell in love with years ago, they'd be like, okay, that'll be $750. Like, okay, never mind. So I love that these are so much more reasonably priced, but they are still such high quality. They are so cute. And I love that Warby Parker offers their free home try-on kit. So you take a quick little quiz on Warby Parker's website, and then you can pick out five frames that you'd like to actually try on at home, but I love the selection of glasses. They have so many different ones. Again, they also have sunglasses. I love that not only do I have my prescriptions in these lenses, but I also have their anti-glare coating and their blue light technology. That's awesome because I'm, I mean, like all of us, we're in front of computers and phones all the time. I love that that's just in there. I don't really have to think about it. I also love that with the home try-on kit, there's no obligation to buy. It ships to you for free. There's a prepaid shipping label. You send it back. And if you try on all the frames and you don't like any of them, you can send it back and no strings attached. I think that's pretty cool because, you know, glasses are very personal and being able to try them on your face, I think is, I mean, the most important thing because you want to see how they actually look on your face. We all have different widths of our face, etc. So I love my Warby Parker glasses. My husband also wears them. We love them. Anytime anyone asks us for a recommendation, it's pretty much always what I say because that's, that's all we wear. So if you want to get your own home try-on kit, you can do so by going to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun. There you can quickly take the quiz and then you can pick out five frames to be sent to your house. Like I said, it ships for free. There's a prepaid shipping label to send it back and there's no obligation to buy, no strings attached. I'll have that link right at the top of the description box and thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. All right, let's dive in. So I went about this video by going through the best sellers on Sephora and Ulta and really pulling out the ones, this list was longer, but I, I curated it a bit because I really wanted these to be those products that I really feel strongly that they're just not great. And I really don't know why they're bestsellers. So I'm gonna tell you, take, if it's in your cart, take it out. Then I can also give you a replacement if you want that. <laughs> Let's start with the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I do not like this product. I no longer have it in my collection. This, uh, first of all, this is coming from someone that is a very big fan of tinted moisturizers. I love a low to medium coverage product that looks like skin, that's easy to apply. This one was very obvious on my skin. It it just took forever to blend in. And even once I like had it blended the way I would blend like anything, it just looked weird. It would catch on weird parts of my face. And it was just one of those products that I was like, this is so much more work to make it look okay versus other products that take very little work and look really nice. So my replacement for this product, if you want one, <laughs> is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This one, I'll show you me applying it, is again, lowish, medium-ish coverage. You could kind of build it up a bit, but it's not gonna be, you know, like a full coverage type product. 
It's got a little sunscreen in it. It's got SPF of 30. I just feel like my skin looks like skin. I'll show you a little shot of it in natural light so you can really see what it looks like because this lighting is natural, but it's a little off. In the sunlight, it looks beautiful. This is one of those products that I feel like I could slap on in the depth of summer and my skin in direct sunlight just looks healthy. That's what I want, you know? So I really like this. It's very similar, but so much easier to blend in. It looks nicer on the skin and they're right around the same price point. Another one, if you want a tad bit more coverage, I love the Purito BB cream. You can get it on Amazon. It's so good. The Misha BB cream as well, please. You guys know I love that. This is one that was just kind of top of mind. It's not exactly the same, but there it's just a slight bit more coverage and very pretty on the skin. Yeah, I'm now starting to feel guilty that this is a de-influencing video and I'm still sharing favorites. Jessica, you got to move past it. It's your video. You can do it however you want. <laughs> Just move on. All right. What was next on my list? Okay. This was on the bestsellers list on Sephora. It's the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Stick. I always grab the wrong one. So it's got a brush on one side and it is like a bronzing cream stick on the other. I cannot get this to blend in. This looks so bad on my skin. Um, so I have the shade light medium. I've tried the lighter shade too. Um, it's a little too orange on me, which is why I ended up keeping this one. But this one just looks very, it, it just does not blend well, you guys. I have tried it with the brush and absolutely not. Um, I think I'd use the other one's brush. I've tried it with like my other brushes I like. It's just one of those products that just does not look good on my skin. However, from the same brand, I would highly recommend the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. This is so pretty. I very recently fell in love with it. You can use kind of more of like a dense foundation brush and I'll show you me applying it on one side of my face right now. And when you apply it that way, I just feel like it's easy. I, I don't have to think about it. I can just slap it on, blend it out. It's not moving around the foundation underneath. That was the other big thing with the stick version. I would put it on and the second I start to try to blend it, that foundation underneath is gone. Just absolutely gone. <laughs> And with the other product here in the pot, it didn't do that. So obviously these are different. And again, price point wise, they're I think almost exactly the same. I would just really recommend this one over the stick. I The stick one, honestly, the next time I declutter, that one's gotta go. Cause I just, I absolutely hate the application process. I do think once you blended it in, it can look nice. Like if you already owned it, I think you can make it work. Definitely I would recommend instead of drawing it right on, just put some on your brush and apply it that way for sure, because this just packs a punch, but it's just a little bit drier, which makes it a little bit harder to blend. I am flying through this video. Okay, Glossier just came to Sephora. It's a big deal, everyone's talking about it, and it is a big deal, because for the longest time, Glossier was only sold on their site. It's exciting when a brand is now at one of those retailers like Sephora and Ulta, where if you're already someone that shops there online, you already have an account, you know what I mean? It's just kind of nice. Anyway, that is exciting, so I don't want to downplay that. The Glossier Cloud Paint is a very popular product. It's been hyped up for years. I don't think it's a bad product, but I want to de-influence you from buying it because I just think you can get the same thing for even cheaper. So the Cloud Paint, yeah, so it is $20. I love this product from Ulta. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. The Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush. This one's, I think, closer to 10. It is so beautiful. And the thing about the Glossier Cloud Paints is they're very sheer and that's Glossier's whole thing, right? It's a lot of it is very sheer, maybe slightly buildable, just more natural looking. I feel like this one can look sheer as well, if that's what you're into, but you can also build it up. So I like that with this, you have the option to go either way. Whereas with Glossier, I can build it up a little bit, but I, I don't know. I like the finish and the pigmentation of this Ulta one better. I have the shade Dusty Pink. I do feel like looks wise, once it's on the cheeks, it looks a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury blush highlight that I, I've mentioned this in a dupes video for it because I really do feel like once it's on, it looks exactly the same. So I recommend this one over the Glossier one. I just love it. Another quick honorable mention, if you want a little bit more pigmentation is the Milani Cheek Kiss liquid blush. This one's really good. And again, it's more pigmented, so you have to be a little more careful, but it is also really good. And of course it's cheaper than the Glossier one. The Benefit Hoola Bronzer. It's been around for a while. Again, I don't think it's terrible, but I just don't think, it's on the bestsellers list. If you've been thinking about it, I think you can get better ones. The thing about the Benefit Hoola one is, 
you have to be kind of careful with it. So like right now I have a mini size and it's really hard to get my brush in there. And so then it's hard to get it applied evenly because it's never evenly distributed on my brush. So I'm always working with that. And that's my own thing with like a small container. But even when you've got the full size, I just feel like it can look very patchy. I always have to be a little more careful with that versus when I use this other product, which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. So the milk chocolate is just for my skin tone. They have a couple different ones depending on your skin tone. I just feel like this is a little bit easier to blend onto the skin. It's a little bit easier to work with. Again, they're right around the same price point, so you're not necessarily saving money, but I also think the packaging is prettier. This is like a really nice packaging. It's got a magnetic closure. Like it feels like a high-end product, the Benefit Hula bronzer is expensive, but it doesn't, you know, the packaging is what it is. It's kind of like that thick cardboardy box type, which at this point, honestly, is kind of nostalgic for me because I do love like the Benefit boxed blushes and stuff. But you know what I mean? When you're paying 30 bucks, you kind of want it to feel like you paid $30. And this one definitely does. And I just think it looks more even on the skin. It's easier to apply. It's a little bit silkier. Another little honorable mention is the Milani Silky Matte Powder. This is so similar. This one is so pretty. I actually had this in my travel makeup bag from the trip we just got back on because it's just gorgeous. It is so, so silky. It's, I'm a big fan of this one. And that one's even cheaper. Tossing this in really quick, the Beauty Blender. I do think the Beauty Blender is great, but it is $20. You have to replace it a lot, you know? I have two favorites from Amazon. I'll link both below. One that's the traditional beauty blender shape. It's a couple bucks and I'm telling you it is the exact same thing. It works in my opinion better. There's a reason I've continued to repurchase this one from Amazon. And then I also have a new favorite that has more of a flat edge. I will also link. They're so good. I have not bought a beauty blender in years, years. Cause again, I, I like to replace my sponges a little more often. And when I've spent $20 on a sponge, I don't want to replace it. And you know what I mean? And I know there's ways you can maybe clean it, this, that, and the other, put it in the microwave. But my point is, I just want to buy it for a couple bucks, use it for a while, and be done with it. I don't want to have to keep, like, trying to baby it for so long because I spent $20 on it. That's all. If you still buy the Beauty Blender, you do you. That's awesome. I'm just sharing my thoughts. The Dior Backstage Palettes. They're, like, four or five different kinds. I'll just put a picture of one of them up there. I tried one of these. I think the one I'm... I'll pop up the one that I tried. This is $49. The shadows are not terrible, but they're not great. They're not great. And so I, I think I ended up returning that one if I'm remembering right, because I was so like, wow, this is not worth the price. And I pretty rarely return things. Considering this is my job, I kind of just, a lot of times I'll just eat the cost because I'm like, you know, this is just kind of the cost of what I do. But that one was bad enough that I was like, no, <laughs> it's getting returned. So for me, first palette that came to mind to recommend instead of that, because that one, by the way, I felt like some of the shades were chalky. The shimmers were not great. It just felt like shade to shade, they all weren't the same quality. And I think that's what bothered me the most. They blended okay, but that's just how I felt. I felt like it was just okay. And for $49, it should feel like it's amazing. So the eyeshadow palette that first came to mind when I was thinking like, what would be one I would recommend that's similar-ish? The first one that came to my mind is the Ulta Everyday Eyes Palette. I think that's what it's called. It's at the Workspace right now, so I'll pop up a picture. That is a top tier quality wise palette. And now they have like two other ones. They have like a more warmer tone one and I think one other. Absolutely stunning. Every single shadow is beautiful. The mattes blend so easily. The shimmers are like the perfect, like good shimmer. Like I, I don't even know. <laughs> Describe it. It is such a good palette, you guys. It's so underrated. It's around, I want to say 20 to $25, so about half the price. Um, I cannot recommend that palette more. So if you were eyeing the Dior ones, maybe check the Ulta ones, see if they have a similar one. You won't regret it. I promise you, you won't regret it. It is such high quality. So good. Okay, this foundation looks so bad on my skin. How bad does it look? It looks so bad. <laughs> It's the, um, I, I guess I should tell you what it is. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Beautiful skin, I don't think so. It looks so bad on me. I really have not heard a lot of positive things about this. Um, I like a lot from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the lowest on the totem pole, I think. It, for me, aged me. It made my skin look so much older than it really was. Um, it just kind of sat on top of the skin 
And I think that's part of why it made my skin look older. And so then not only did it just not look good right off the bat, but as the day wore on, oh my gosh, it just looked worse and worse. It was wearing off, of course, as foundation does, but it's still like the rest of it still looked bad too. So it was just, it was a bad makeup day. I tried it like multiple times and every single time it ended the same way. Could not wait to take it off. So the one I would recommend instead of that is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. This stuff is medium coverage. The Charlotte Tilbury one is supposedly medium coverage. It's skin-like. The Charlotte Tilbury one is supposed to make it look like your best skin ever, you know? To take this term, but you get what I'm saying. No, that stuff looks terrible. This stuff looks so pretty. So I ended up taking off the Tower 28 that I put on earlier and I applied this so that you could see this one being applied too. It covers just the right amount for what I like. I can put on a second layer and it looks perfect. I feel like it covers any like frecklage or redness that I want hidden, but it still looks like skin. It doesn't look weird. I'll show you it in natural sunlight as well so you can see. I just feel like it looks pretty. It really looks pretty, but it still has that coverage. So it's kind of like if you took that Tower 28 tinted moisturizer and added a little more coverage, you'd get this. And I think that's why I love it. It also has like a frosted glass bottle, a nice pump. So for a lot, a lot of savings, you get a still a really nice packaging and an even better actual product. Whew. That's all I wanted to mention. I feel like I was flying through this video. Maybe I wasn't, but I felt like I was going really fast. Um, honestly, I'm filming later than I think I've ever filmed. <laughs> Not ever, but I mean, I really, it's like 4 p.m. I usually film like around like noon or one or two and sometimes even earlier. So it feels weird to be filming at this point in the day. I think that's part of it. <laughs> and I'm tired. We were up super early this morning because Miss Felicity had surgery on her ears. She got tubes put in her ears. Point is, it went really well and she's good. She's napping right now. So glad to have gotten that done because she had had so many ear infections and at a certain point like she had taken so many antibiotics like even her pediatrician was like i mean we really probably shouldn't give her anymore <laughs> so this really was the best course of action we did it with genevieve and it was a game changer she went from having an ear infection every single month to none for like years it was incredible so i'm really hoping that this sticks and it all goes well but um it was a very early morning because the surgery was at like six in the morning so we are tired we are so tired so i'm excited we're about to pick up Genevieve from school, have an early dinner, and honestly, I think we're all just gonna turn in early because we were all so tired. Anyway, that had nothing to do with anything, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, I do lots of makeup-y videos here. I do drugstore dupe videos. I can link my dupes playlist if you wanna check some of those out. Kind of similar to this, but you get to see the products on side by side, and of course, I'm talking just dupes, whereas these are dupes-ish and not necessarily to save you money. Anyway, I know you know, you just watch the whole thing. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being weird. Am I being weird? <laughs> I gotta go. I... <laughs> anyway, thank you to Warby Parker, of course, for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to order your free home try-on kit of Warby Parker glasses, you can do so by going to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have that link right at the top of the description box as usual. Thank you, Warby Parker. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I need to go like have a moment, grab a snack. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. I gotta go. Bye.